All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install for Helldivers 2 the History's Finest Warrior Styled Armor Mod, which lets you wear cool samurai looking space armor so you can be looking absolutely fantastic while you stab the ever loving pants off of. Well, I guess there's knight armor in here too. Uh, you can be looking absolutely suave while you stab bugs, robots, and uh, squids. So with that in mind, we're going to need two things for this to work. We're going to need to download the actual mod for History's Finest Warrior Styled Armor. And this has got five files that we'll need to download. Then we'll also need to grab the Helldivers 2 Mod Manager, which works better and honestly is the only one that really works for all of the Helldivers 2 mods. The other ones don't play nice with Vortex for whatever reason. So that said, we're gonna start by downloading the mod manager by clicking on the manual download and clicking on slow download because that's the free version. And then I've already got a nice little folder set up to keep all my stuff in called Helldivers 2 modding. And then we're gonna stick the mod manager in a folder of the same name just so that I keep it sorted. And it comes in more than one version, so it's good to, to stay up to date with the latest version. After that, we're gonna need to go back here and grab the History's Finest Armors. So we're just gonna download all of them to show how all of them get installed. And we're gonna click Manual Download on the first one, which is the HF-39 Valkyrie Armor. And we'll similarly go for Free Download. I've got a mods, the mods list folder. I'll save that here. It's probably a good idea if you're gonna do a bunch of mods together to put them in different folders with the label of the main mod just to keep them separated because everything puts the name of the mo of like the armor it's replacing in the title and it can get kind of confusing. After that, we're gonna go back to files and we're gonna just slowly go through and download all of these different history's finest mods because each one is altering a different specific set of armor in the game. It's a way that people make these mods a little bit lighter to use and download is by going through and just separating them out into individual downloadables rather than just requiring you to replace all of them or none of them, which I can appreciate. So now we need to go with the melee. Download that. I think we're missing number three. So let me go back and grab number three. The Templar. And then we just need to grab the last one. Which is the shields. And I do like that some of these actually modify the shields and the weapons that you get. So if you really want just like the default armor, but you want the cool shield and sword, you absolutely have that as an option. So while that's finishing downloading, we're gonna go find the mod manager and open that folder. And we're gonna extract the mod manager because it comes in a zip file. We're gonna extract it to a file of the same name. Again, just because it's good to have the latest version, which causes the least number of errors when you have Helldivers pretty regularly updating. So inside of Helldivers 2 Mod Manager folder, there's just the main application here that has a yellow icon. Go ahead and give that a double click. Tell Windows that you are totally fine. You can go ahead and run that. And then you'll see a little window pop up that looks exactly like this. This is the Mod Manager. As you add mods, they just get added to a big long list here. You can turn them on or off or delete them however you like. There is one thing we need to do though to get this set up before we can start adding mods, and that is telling the mod manager where to find Helldivers 2. So to do that, we're gonna go to settings, and we're gonna go to the game directory here at the top, and we're gonna tell it where it is. Because this mod manager, you can put this anywhere on your computer. You can put it in the download section, you can put it in the desktop, or you can put it in the Mariana Trench. It doesn't matter as long as you tell it where your Helldivers 2 is hiding. So to do that, we're gonna click these three dots on the right hand side, and then we're going to go to Steam. We're gonna right click and say, Manage, Browse Local Files. In this window, we're gonna click the top bar here that has the address, and we're going to highlight it and copy it. 
close that window. And then inside of here where it's looking for Helldivers 2, we're gonna click that same top bar and paste in the address and then hit enter. This is where Helldivers 2 is installed on my space drive, which doesn't stand for outer space, it's just extra space, uh, including for recording. And then I'm gonna click select. And that is where Helldivers 2 is located. You can see it right here. And then I can click OK. Now we can start adding all of the mods by clicking Add. And I'm going to close these other windows I don't need. By clicking Add in the upper little left-hand corner of this little window. So we're going to go back to Downloads. And inside of Helldivers 2 Modding, there's the mods. And I... Do I have duplicates? I think I downloaded more than was supposed to be there. I do have a duplicate. Let's delete that. You didn't see that. And then we'll just start adding these one at a time until we have them all added into my list. And they even have a little picture. That's actually the first time I've seen a picture like that on the mod in the loader. Then we'll add the next one. And we want to add these one by one until they were all added to the list. And then we will hit the deploy button, which will add them to my Helldivers 2 game install files and modify them so that they appear in the game. From here, we can click the launch Helldivers 2 button. This is the same button that you would be clicking if you launch directly through Steam. It's just conveniently here to make things easier. So we'll launch Helldivers 2 now and see what this stuff all looks like. So here, now that we're back into the game, you can see these mods by going into your armory and going into your armor section. And some of these may or may not have like an actual preview in the window here, but it looks like these ones do. So here's the Devastator armor. We can equip both the armor itself and also the helm, which is in here hiding somewhere. And you can kind of mix and match them as you like, because it looks like they're all in the same color scheme. So you can put on like the Devastator helmet or the cool like Samurai helmet or the Knight helmet. And you can go uh, rocking that however you please in the game. And it looks like some of them might be a little bit more designed for a female body than a male body. But I also, because I've been playing around with a lot of these, have different body types. So it looks like it's actually got a, a body type for both men and women which is actually really cool. You don't see a lot of mods that bother to do that. So good on whoever made this. Um, this one was made by Solar Rail, or at least uploaded by. So whoever made this Solar Rail, you did a great job with this. Um, so let's see, we got this one. We had another one up here in the medium armor section to give us an option. So that's the cool armored samurai. And then the light armor, I think we had one in the light armor. Maybe it's another medium. I do like the mods that also give a little bit of love to like every armor tier. So you've got something to work with regardless of how you prefer to run the game. Was there a final version? Maybe it only activates when I'm in lean mode. Some games are like that. <clears throat> ah, here it is. It looks like it attaches to the Trailblazer Scout, and it also tries to attach to the Arctic Ranger, because it's technically the same model, just recolored. That's kind of funny, actually, that that kind of works. Yeah, so here's the other one. It's underneath of the Trailblazer Scout. Yeah, I like that. This is more Norse-based. and I do like me some Norse mythology. So yeah, that is the improved like weapons. I suspect if we go into the weaponry, I suspect the melee ones are here in, yep, they're here in the sidearm. They replace the three main melee weapons that you can buy in the game. And that's actually pretty cool. I don't have a good way to showcase the shield, but I'm guessing it's the uh, laser shield that you can call down in the actual game. So anyway, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at History's Finest Warrior-styled armor mod and how to install it. It looks pretty cool. I think that they did a really good job. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.